out walking with Breeze again today. It's quite a rainy, dull day today. It's been raining properly all day long, so it's a bit soggy out here. It doesn't seem to dampen her spirits though, nor mine. I'm all geared up. Yeah, all waterproofed and feeling lovely and warm. It's a good walk though. I love this walk. It's one of my favourites. But a little hour out with her gives me time to think and think about all the things that I've been doing today and what I've got to do later on tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, it's all good. Brilliant news the other day, or yesterday actually, that my dad went into uh, went into treatment for prostate cancer. Uh, he was diagnosed with it last year and uh, he's had radiotherapy and uh, they go by a certain type of count of a cell that's in your bloodstream. And just before the operation, I think he was on about 26, 27, something like that. Um, and after the operation, he's right down to 0.1%. So absolute brilliant, brilliant sort of relief. So thank you very much. I'm so proud of both my mum and my dad for uh, being as calm and seeing it through just like it should be done not getting in any flaps or panics or anything like that absolutely love my family uh, so sort of level-headed so kind and loving and uh, oh yeah I'm well pleased well pleased with it all uh, so well done dad thanks uh, for sticking with us and well done for seeing it through and uh, yeah we'll come up and see you soon and we'll do some cooking together when walking around on my own with Breeze, she's often doing her thing, sniffing around. I often like listening to just the silence and also sort of just the noise of the trees and birds and things, which is cool. But often I listen to audiobooks. It's one great way of just walking with a dog. It keeps you out and about, keeps you occupied, and you learn stuff or you get taken away to those lovely fantasy lands. And at the moment I'm listening to Game of Thrones. Um, I like it, it's very good. I've watched all the TV series up to now. I've not actually read any of the books, I just haven't got time to sit down and by the time I go to bed, I open up a book, I get through about three pages and then fall asleep. And I've usually got somebody snoring next to me, which is Lou. I'm sure she won't mind me saying that. Um, but audiobooks are fantastic. I was just wondering if any of you guys out there use audiobooks and if you have any that you would like to recommend for me to, uh, to have a listen to. Uh, that'd be really good. So leave a comment below or get in touch with us and just let us know which ones I should be listening to because my Game of Thrones is uh, catching up rapidly to the, uh, the TV series <laughs> which is out soon. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the next instalment brings. Also I'd like to uh, put a challenge to anybody out there if they can find or know of a GPS tracker, a very small GPS tracker and maybe like a pedometer or something like that that I can put on Breeze's collar. Because one thing I've always wondered, which I'm sure many, many other dog owners out there have, is that for every, every mile that I walk with her every day, and on average we do between sort of like two and three miles a day, I'd love to know how many miles she runs, because she's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and fair play to her. I mean, puts me to shame, absolutely. I mean, I'm out of breath, she just stood there completely normal and she's just run sort of like three miles into the woods. So I'd love to know if anybody knows of any GPS trackers or um, distance covered devices that I can just put on a collar or maybe on like a little thing around her neck or a jacket or something like that, just to see how far she goes. That'd be dead interesting, don't you think? Mad as a box of frogs. And yeah. Hey, wait, wait. Wait. Good girl. Okay, ready? Go back. Good girl. <laughs> Come on then. Whee! That is such a happy dog. <laughs> I love it a bit. It's Friday and I'm just popping to Tesco to get myself some lunch. Yay! So I've just done my Tesco shop and I bought one of these for dinner. Mm -mm. 
apparently there's 285 calories in there so we'll give it a whirl it's not like my favorite lettuce though i don't know if you can see it's got like that big chunky bit in the middle that's not my favorite lettuce but we'll try it and hopefully we'll love it busy day today i've got a seven hour shift at work and then i got some reflexology to do in gloucester so that would be a nice way to end the day i finished work and um i've just got to pop to gloucester to i finished work and i've just got to pop to um where am i at where am i at i finished work and now i'm off to go and see a really lovely client of mine to give her some reflexology so that'll be good i love ending my day like this so it looks like Aaron and Bree's had fun today on their walk. And um, like Aaron said, amazing news about his dad. It's really cool and really exciting. Yay! Also, did my treatment. Another satisfied customer. I've come home. We're going to chillax. Might even have a cheeky cocktail and have some dinner. I think we're probably going to have kebab. Mm -mm. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, remember the little things.